Hello, everybody, and welcome to what is hopefully going to be the first of many SKU T videos. This is actually going to be for the first of many SKU T videos. I don't know where hopefully came from. My name is Chris Sanner, and I am going to be leading you through the really the bulk of this lesson here on Titan U. And today, this very first video, we're actually just going to take a very basic look at what a SKU T is doing. I mean, the very this is the very basics. We're going to introduce temperature, dew point, winds with height. We're going to introduce actually how to read this on a very basic level. You won't learn all the nitty gritty stuff just yet. That's for future lessons. So let's get to it. Here's my handy dandy cursor. Now we're not we're going to forget about this part over here. We're going to forget about all this and all of this. I'm using a Mac, so you can see my cursor will get really big. It's nice, but we'll forget about all that. We're going to look at this square right here for now just this area okay so first off what are we looking at from here over the bottom this is from left to right your temperatures okay and see here is zero Celsius these are denoted in Celsius and this is zero Celsius which is freezing and as you can see this blue line goes up and to the right it skews up and to the right hence the name skew T We'll get to uh, we'll get to all these other lines in future lessons, but just these lines right here are your temperatures as you go up with height. Okay, here in you have a green line and you have a red line. These are pretty universal. Almost always your red line is going to be to the right of the green line unless there is a, just a very very special meteorological circumstance. But even still, they're going to be together most likely won't be any real discernible separation so anyways the red line is your temperature the green line is your dew point and as you can see they're going up and yes the temperature is falling with height and the dew point is as well in this example uh, typically you will see the temperature uh, fall with height like this when it's falling uh, from bottom right to the top left that means it is actually falling with height again these are your temperatures and yeah so again uh the best way to put this is you have uh on the sharpie soundings you have on the left side you have these are millibars and we're going up with height on these uh, from 1000 millibars which is the surface uh all the uh, at least here in oklahoma it is the surface uh and from there you have that all the way up to 850 700 500 3000 or 300 2000 100 100 not 3,000 3,000 millibars would be below the earth's crust uh, but anyways um, from there you know this that's a very basic overview of the temperature and dew points is that you know you have temperatures again on the bottom you have the height right here you hear us talking about like 500 millibar jet streaks well it's up in this area so anyways here on the right side of this window, you have what are wind barbs. I'm assuming at this point, if you're interested in skew tees, you know what wind barbs are. And these are showing winds with height in the atmosphere all the way from the surface here, which, you know, you see a south wind at 10 knots. These are denoted in knots, by the way, all the way up to past 200 millibars where you have a nice 80 mile per hour wind way up there in the way upper atmosphere. And you also have, you know, you have 120 here, 135. So you can see as you go up in the atmosphere, this is your wind. Very simple. Um, I mean, the best way to put this is that on the very basic scale, that's what you're reading. Uh, if you know what you're looking for, oftentimes those three things I just talked about are the only three things you really need to look for. And the rest just kind of falls into place. But uh Again, there's going to be future lessons. We're going to talk about CAPE. Uh, you know, we're going to talk about what this dotted line means, what this blue line means, what these green line means. We're going to talk about all that. We're going to talk about what this bugger is right here, LCL, LFC, EL. We're going to talk about all that, and it's going to be a lot of fun. So in the future, you're going to find out exactly how to read a skew T. You're going to become a skew T master. You're even going to learn how to uh, read hodographs. You're going to learn uh, what... Uh, this little effective layer STP with the EF scale means you're going to learn all that. It's going to be fun, all these indices. So in future lessons, you're going to learn that. But for now, I think you have a good idea about what the SKU-T is doing here. You have, again, the best way to put it, temperatures here on the bottom, height of the atmosphere going up. So this is a, you know, a 2D picture of the atmosphere with height. You have temperature in the red, dew point in the green. 
and you have your winds. That's the very basic of this UT. That's you know just the very basics of how to read it. Again, we'll have more lessons on this in the future. I hope this very brief overview is of help to you, and we will see you on the next lesson, and we will break down uh, the LCL, we'll break down the LFC, EL, we'll break down all those fun things. So until then, I hope you have a great day, and I hope you've learned something. So we'll see you next time. And one final note, I have to pass this along. If you want to check these out in real time, check out PivotalWeather.com. They're friends of ours. It's a great modeling site, and they have these Sharpie soundings. They are incredible. Seriously, PivotalWeather.com, your home for weather models. Check them out. Make it happen. Peace.